There are 8 million YouTube talks online. But if you like, you want to really experience it, you have to come in person. It's great. I mean, you'll just meet such cool people. So, yeah, my name is Anastasia and I will talk about the Clank format and some typical myths and misconceptions about this tool. So, if you open the kernel documentation, you'll find this statement, which I will today try to prove to you. So, Clank format is a tool for, obviously, formatting C and C++, and it's not perfect nor recovers every single case, but it's good enough. Okay, if you look further into the kernel documentation, you'll find actually three goals for the Clank format tool, like, obviously, reformat the code, spot style mistakes and help with the style rules. So, okay, Clang format actually is capable of reformatting the code. I will not argue with that. But is it really a standard tool for formatting? We at JetBrains has a tool that can scan the GitHub based on some conditions and filters, and we actually did that. And I found out that in the repositories with the primary language of C and C++, only 8.65% of them has Clang format file at any level inside. So it's truly a standard tool when we only have like 8% something of the repositories with the config inside. I don't think so. But also actually Clang format is known for breaking the compatibility, right? You know that, especially when they take the parameter which is like um, Boolean and then convert it to the enumeration and everything is just broken. So the company just sticks to one specific version of the Clang format on their CI and never upgrade it. Okay, so it's about the formatting. What about the guidelines enforcing tool? Is it really one of many other Clang based tools enforcing the guidelines on us? Let's start from the end, enforcing the guidelines. Uh, you probably know that we're doing these surveys for many, many years. If you don't come to my talk on Friday, I'll tell you more. But generally, we have a question there where we ask, which of the following tools do you or your team use for guideline enforcements? And for many, many years, I saw this option clang format in other drop-down list. So I, I had no chances. I had to add it to the proper list. And this year in 2023, it's on the third place, you know? So 21% of the C++ developers for that that's the guideline enforcement tool. There is no reason not to believe them, right? Um, but is it really a Clang-based tool? It's called Clang format. The interesting thing about the Clang's format that it has a fuzzy parser. It actually doesn't parse in the way the Clang parse. It just generates the annotated tokens based on simple lexer. So no proper AST no handling of the includes. You probably know if you have to deal with the macro in Clang format, you have to do magic. So if you're like having a macro which starts or ends the block to indent properly, you actually have to use these nice parameters in the Clang format called macro block begin, macro block end to explain that it's actually begin and the end of the block. Or you have a statement to explain Clang format that it's a full statement which needs a new line, you have to put it to the statement macros. But is it just about the macros? Let's do some nice coding. I have C line here, but I will be formatting with the Clang format. So I switch to the Clang format. I have a Clang format uh, config in my uh, project. So I will just show you the code. So I have a creepy template here, right? So the code is quite creepy. Uh, but like if I do reformat this code, so you see that I have the spaces removed because obviously I have an option in the client format config which says remove the spaces uh, in the templates. Okay, so but what if I try to cheat and I say that it's actually an integer, right? And I will try to reformat this code block again. Wow, the spaces has gone. Where are they? It's now an integer. What's the difference with the B statement? It's nearly the same. Maybe if I try to command that so that it doesn't show or interact with my client format and try to reformat again, will it help? Oh, no, not again. So the spaces are still as gone. So, okay, I'll try and do the following so we can still command that. We don't need that. I will try to help my calculation and I will switch this two plus eight. It's obviously 10, okay? So what if now we try to, oh, the spaces are here back. So what made the Clang format think that's a template? It's the fact that I have these angle brackets and these like braces here. So that made Clang format thinks that's actually a template, not an integer. Oh, wow. So 
We think of cloud format as a standard tool, but it's actually not really that standard, and it's not a code analysis tool while we still treat it so, and it's not a truly Clang-based parser while quite often we do think so. So what it actually is, you read it in the very beginning, right? Not perfect, nor covers every single case, but it's good enough to be helpful. Thank you.